Hi everyone. Today we're going to uh, again look at our Cscape software package that we installed last time. And this time here what we're going to do is actually uh, make it so it's more user friendly. Now first of all we call it up like I have here. You can use the quick key that's on your desktop or you could go to uh, programs Cscape Cscape 9.70 and then it will call this up. So what we want to do is we want to make it so that uh, we're a little more user friendly and we can actually see some of the uh, data and information. So the first thing we'll do is go File New. All right. This opens up a new package. So right now all we have is main and there's really not much information. So what we want to do, um, we could also do the Control N by the way to do that new. Now what we'll do is go to the Tools and go to application settings and what we want to do is we want to unclick the use classic terminal right? and then what we want to do also is support the IEC uh, editor programs. We'll apply that and we'll hit OK. Now if we go uh, file close, or actually sorry, we'll file close File new and then it will come up with a message so we want to go advanced ladder. So it looks a little better but there's other things we can also do here. So what we can do now is we can look at the project navigator. So if we go to tools and then look at the project navigator this is the navigator itself. So here's my untitled, here's my controller, my networking, my graphics, all my control, um, my logic, my main PLC. So that's very useful information. So what I'll do is I can pin that over to the left hand side and you can see it's right here. The other um, option or tools is the project toolbox. Now in the project toolbox, this gives me all my instruction, my bitwise, my boolean, my compare, comparisons. You can see a number of them here. Um, so when I'm programming my all-in-one controller, the XL4, here's all the instructions I can use. And I can just show you that by expanding it and you can see all the different bits and all the, or my bitwise operations. If I go to my move, I can see all my move statements that I can utilize. Again, I can pin that over to the left hand bar. So here there are if I ever need them. Okay. So the, the last thing we want to also do is look at some toolbars. And um, so if we go view and go toolbars, we'll go uh, first of all, make sure the this, this status bar is lit. That's the one down here. So that's always good to have. Then we'll go standard. And the standard toolbox will appear. And what we want to do is we want to actually dock this up into the, the main part here. So there we go. And the other toolbar, you toolbars, is the unit communications. So it's always good to know when we're communicating to the controller or when we're online or offline. So again, we'll dock this up here. And if we go to um, the advanced ladder s uh, editor settings, we can modify a few things on there. So if we go tools, editor options, and what we want to do is ensure that this allow or around functions is on there. Our laddering numbering system, so right here in our laddering numbering. So right now it's all showing both. And also here we can actually change the background color. Currently right now it's dark gray. That's fine for now. But as you can see if we really want to change it we can change it to all these different colors. Okay so now we have our environment set up for the Seascape programming. So now we can go ahead and establish communications and start programming with our Seascape. Okay, that's it for now. If you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up on YouTube and keep up with all the uh, latest videos by subscribing to our channel. 
Also, if you go over to our website at accautomation.ca, you will find a complete list of all the steps that we just covered here in this video. And if you, you subscribe to our website, you will get two free ebooks. One is Understanding PLC Numbering Systems, and the other is Robust Data Logging for Free. And remember, when you uh, subscribe to our website, as soon as information comes available, you'll be the first to get emailed about the updates. Alright, thanks for watching.